How y'all doing? That's what I'm talking about right there. Jay Hammer put it down, did he? Jay Hammer, we don't fuck around, lose our disability up here dancing. So security be off in here, so these niggas can dance. So I'll be like, hell no. I'm gonna tell y'all now, some of this stuff gonna be funny, some of it ain't. If you don't laugh, this is not your joke. Y'all with me? Oh, okay, just wanted to make sure. Now when I get down here, you know what I'm saying, the first thing they tell me, we gonna show you around Greenwood. I said, bitch. Now we get to riding around, they say, you drink? I say, no. He say, you smoke? I say, no. He said, well, we get stopped by the police, I'm gonna need you to get out and run. I looked at his ass like, you better park on the fucking hill then. That's the only way I'm gonna do some running. I think I was the only brother in school that used to run track, they used to start off on a ramp. They'd be holding me by my neck, my legs get to moving out there, take off. They'd be like, stop, I'd be like, I can't. You gotta put somebody at the other end to catch me. Woo, ladies, y'all are looking good tonight. Give y'all some round of applause. It is some beautiful women in here. Beautiful women make some noise. Hold up, hold up, some of y'all making noise, don't need to be making it. But there's some ugly women in here too. If you don't know which one are you, ladies, look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, which one is I? Some of y'all lying to your home girl, girl, you looking like you looking. You know you ain't gonna tell her the truth when you know you're the finest one in the group. And they got that this new dance and then new dance move that came out. What's that new dance everybody doing? That, you said it right, that name man. I can't stand that shit. You know where the name that came from, right? A handicapped person walking up a hill. It, it originated from me. Like one time, I went to the club, and I seen my homeboys, cause I had forgot my crutch. And I was like, well look, I know I ain't got my balance going up this hill, so I'ma grab onto them and pull my way up the hill. So I seen them, I said, y'all going to the club? They said, yeah, come on, let's go. So we got the walking in the club, so you know what I'm saying? I felt myself walking, so I reached for them like, bam! And then I missed them, so you know. I was like, wait a minute. I was like, maybe I need to grab for both of them this time. So we get to walk them back up the hill, no? I missed them again, so you know what happened. A dude walked by me and laughed. A week later, y'all let me show you what happened. I'm in the club and all I see is this right here. Look at her, she's like, hell yeah! 
E di che iniziamo spinnando che è? E di che è il Baby, you put a bump on the hand and get me, we got meals. Best friend, I'm going to the room with me. I come out walking like this, you be walking by the beach. I'm like, bitch, ain't it fucked up. Look at her, she thinking about that stuff now, baby. Look, he do get that check. Uh, he ain't even got to work. Oh my God. Uh, joke number four. <laughs> I got this, I got this homeboy, and my homeboy is like um in a wheelchair. And he was always cheating on this girl. And he got caught on cheaters. Now he was in the wheelchair when they rolled up on him with the cameras. They said, do your wife know you cheating on her? He automatically fainted. <laughs> they took him to the hospital. He was laying in the hospital bed. When he woke up, the camera was right back in his face. They said, do your wife know you cheating on her? He fainted again. They said, man, we got to get these cameras out of here and check him. So when he came back this time, they said, why you keep fainting? He said, if I don't die now, she's going to kill me later. And I used to play basketball. Now me and my homeboy playing basketball. Now he goes down, he make a shot. I say, good shot. Now I goes down, I make a shot, come back, he pat me on my ass. I say, wait a minute. That don't seem right. So I'm like, okay, don't be no mind. He go back down, he make a shot again. I say, good shot. I come back, make a shot, he pat me on my ass again. I say, look. You can't be patting me on my ass like that. He said, that shows good sportsmanship. I say, um, not when you play Nintendo. <laughs> like, hell no. <laughs> and they knew some handicapped people would come in. Why y'all ain't no handicap ramp in here? Oh, but y'all want to bring me up on the side where the stairs is. See how they do me. Whew, I met this one girl. I say, uh, baby, you need to let me take you out. She said, Lil' Jay, I ain't going out because my hair ain't done and I ain't going because I ain't got no tracks in my head. So I ran over her ass. And you got some tracks, man. I tried to drink one time, messed around, started walking straight. I'm like, this is bullshit here. Yeah. And fellas, round of applause. We need to quit disrespecting these ladies, calling them bitches. Round of applause, don't y'all agree? It's just the way you say it if you don't get away with it. Because if you walk in there and call her a bitch the wrong way, it's going to be some issues. But you catch her while she watching, um, what's the new TV show? Empire. Catch her while she watching TV, just walk by and be like, look, bitch, get dressed, we going shopping. She gonna be in the mirror with her camera phone, bitch, going shopping in. Bitch, gonna get them new shoes. <laughs> Some of y'all niggas gonna go home, try that tonight, and get y'all ass cut. Shoot. I think the messed up thing was one time he let me dry. He gonna tell me, good Jane, you might ride or die. I said, bet. So we got to ride in this one neighborhood. He got out of the car. They got to shoot him. I drove off. <laughs> now when he get back to the house, he said, good Jane, what happened? I said, you gave me an ultimatum in the beginning. I was your ride or die. I decided to ride. It wasn't my time to die yet. I wasn't ready. I had to go, you know. I got shit to do tomorrow. Do we got any church people in here? Church people make some noise. Now, I go to church one time trying to change my life around. 
Now they do this thing called the altar call. I'm cool with the altar call because we hold hands. Now we at the altar call, we holding hands. The preacher say, I want to do something a little bit different. I say, go ahead. He said, Brother Jay, step forward. I say, um, do we keep holding hands? Because I don't got my crutch. I don't know how this is going to work. He said, you just got to believe. So I'm like, okay. So I step forward. He laid his hands on my head. I got the rocket. Like the harder he got the praying, the harder I got the rocket. He said, whoo, I can feel the spirit moving. I said, nah, your hands are heavy and my legs getting weak. One of the others is going to holler out LOL, and I'm like, what's she laughing out loud for? Somebody say, no, nah, that means look out, Lord. I'm like, look at this here. And it didn't make me no better because one of the, um, when the preacher got to praying for me, they say, when the spirit is in you, it's nothing you can do to stop the Lord when he's doing his work, so you got to let him work. So um, before y'all get to saying amen, I'm going to tell you about my experience. Now, I'm up there in the preacher praying for me. He said, Lord, we want to thank you for waking him up this morning. I say, hey, amen. Thank you for waking me up this morning. Because the spirit hit me right then. Then he said, Lord, we want to thank you for making him walk straight. He can run. I say, what? I can walk straight and run? So, you know, I was like, I want to see what else blessing I was about to get. So I go back. I said, go ahead, Pastor. He said, last but not least, Lord, we want you to take away that Social Security check and show him he can work. I look, I say, uh, wait a minute, Lord. I know you in the blessing movie, but uh, you ain't got to just be blessing me all at one time like that. Can you take one of these lessons back? And any preachers in here? Because I'm preaching to put you on the spot, won't they? Because I'm in the congregation, I'm minding my own business. I'm sitting in the congregation, the preacher saying, Brother Jake, you're still singing that music. I said, yes, sir. He said, I want you to sing a song. I looked at him, I said, I don't think that's a good idea. He said, Brother Jay, I want you to sing a song. I looked back at him again, I said, look, I don't think that's a good idea. He gonna give me the microphone and say, let him use you. Now when he said that, you know I couldn't let him down. So me, I grabbed that microphone and stood in front of that congregation. I said, I've had some good days. I've had some hills to climb. And maybe you've never been in love the way I've been in love. Maybe you never felt the things that I felt. But then I met you, Jesus. <laughs> I, I know one of my homeboys just got out of jail gonna tell me Easter is his favorite holiday. I say, why is Easter your favorite holiday? He say, because you know Jesus been to jail and you know, I've been to jail. I'm like, fool, what's that got to do with Easter? He said, like, fool, that's the day we was rearrested. Rearrested? He said, about resurrected. And then he called himself a deacon, go talk about, we want everybody to open their Bibles to leave it to us. I'm like, Leviticus? <laughs> and, and don't y'all hate ghetto people? I'm talking about, I got this girl, she don't get on the screen though, on the front door and put it on her bedroom door. How many of y'all got that friend that got no hair on the side of her head? She be putting her hair over the top, over the side to cover up that ball spot. Some of y'all probably did this tonight. How many of y'all got that friend every time y'all go out, y'all be in the car making a bit? Why that bitch come out in that red shirt, them black pants, them blue shoes? What she do when she come out? What she say? How I look? You be like, bitch, familiar? Now, I'm going to give y'all my last two jokes. I got a little girl, my little girl walked in and looked just like me. Now, I told them back in the day, they used to call me Retarded Jay. And I used to tell them, hey, look, I ain't retarded. 
and they used to always say, whatever you've been retarded all your life, you're gonna be retarded today. So, you know, a couple years passed by, I'm doing comedy, doing a lot of music videos. So me and my little girl, we out, we shopping. All of a sudden, somebody pop up out of nowhere and say, hey, what up, retarded Jay? I say, look, I'm not retarded. They say, whatever, you've been retarded all your life, you're gonna be retarded today. I say, wait a minute. He said, how you get here? I said, my homeboy dropped us off. He said, well, don't worry about it. I'm gonna get y'all a ride home. So I'm like, cool. Now me and my little girl, we wobble out there and get in the car with this dude. This dude say, um, so what you retarded butt been up to? I said, look, you gonna stop calling me retarded. I ain't retarded. He said, whatever. You've been retarded all your life. You're gonna be retarded today. All of a sudden, he look in his rearview mirror and say, shit, and go to put on this seatbelt. I said, what's wrong? He said, we're going to jail. I'm like, no, you going to jail. I said, why? He said, this cross don't no more than three shit. I said, oh my goodness, stop putting on my seatbelt. Now all of a sudden the police comes up and say, hey sir, I need your driver license. My homeboy gets the driver license and gives it to him. He looked past my homeboy at me and said, hey sir, I need to ID your driver license. I immediately started looking out the window and rocking. <laughs> He looked past my homeboy again and said, hey sir, I need to ID in and drive like to act like I ain't heard nothing, I just kept on rocking. <laughs> then last time he got ready to ask me, hey sir, I need to ID in and drive. My homeboy gonna bump me, oh retarded fool, he said he need to ID in and drive like I turned around and said, eh. Ah. Ah. He looked at my and he said, this fool like retarded, I'm like, I feel retarded all my life. I'm gonna be retarded today. He said, well, ask this little girl. I looked in the back and said, ask you going to jail. She said, daddy. <laughs> um, now, before I get out of here, they say a lot of beautiful women celebrating their birthday. Anniversaries, just got your tubes tied. Any birthday people in here? Birthday ladies. Now, I brought a male stripper all the way from Little Rock, Arkansas down here for y'all. Is it okay if I bring him out, ladies? I say, is it okay if I bring him out, ladies? Now, his name is Heatstroke, and he's really cut up. Feel free to tip if you want. Y'all got y'all one together right here in the front. DJ, you got me some music. <laughs> 